Okay, so we're right into another deck profile from the World Tournament for Dragon Ball Super Card Game, and this one is Hercule. I'm in very much, uh, I'm very much in a love-hate relationship with Hercule. Like, <laughs> like, I just like playing him. I'm like, am I doing good? Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> and then other times it's like, dude, this is so much fun. <laughs> There's so much. Like, I have so many cards. I don't know what to do with them. <sighs> so there's, there's gonna be a lot of different deck profiles or d different versions of Hercule, I think. Uh, they're gonna be coming out, not from me. I might, I might, I might give them another chance. I might, I might uh, do like a yellow variant, maybe. Um, I might, I might throw in the the five drop uh, Goku and Vegeta, the red ones in this one. I just don't know yet. I just, I really don't know. But. If anything, um, for this deck and for Hercule in general, he is a crazy, crazy man. Like, if you didn't know, you you do not know draw power before you know Hercule. That is for sure. Like, <laughs> when you when you start playing Hercule, you're like, wait, am I drawing too much? Because that's exactly how I, I goddamn feel. Uh, okay, so if you didn't know, he is from the World Tournament uh, theme booster set. So this is the second one as of the time that it's recording. I don't know. We're going to be watching this, but that is what it is. Uh, again, subscribe if you are looking for more uh, World Tournament ones. The one that I did before, just before this one was Jackie Chan. The one after this one is most likely going to be the Green Goku. And then after that, it's going to be Soul Striker, I think, and then Pan. Um, and then something else. I forgot. I forget which one else. But... For Hercule in itself, um, again, he's, he's he draws so much. Uh, so yeah, definitely subscribe. Let me know what you think about this deck. Let me know what your di direction you, you say or what you've taken um, with this leader as well. So, uh, activate battle. This is his effect. Uh, during this card's battle, uh, if there are cards in your combo area, draw one card and this neg and negate this to kill for the duration of the turn. Okay, and it's the same thing on the flip side. Except for when you attack, you draw one. So picture this, um, you are a 5k, <laughs> you are a 5k leader unawakened and 10k uh, awakened, right? So that means if you're going to be attacked, you are most likely going to have to defend yourself on a combo or in a barrier or in a, in a blocker sort of way. Um, and I, I try the blocker sort of way, but it was, it was like, it's it's better just to to draw as many cards and then end it quickly with this leader i feel like uh i could be wrong there could be this this man could top one of the next regionals out of nowhere like in nationals or something and just body people but in my opinion i feel like that's what it is so picture that you have to have 5k or 10k on their their side and then 5k on yours you're going to be at the comboing every single time so every single time that you combo, you have to draw. It does not matter if you're on the defense. It does not matter if you're, if you're on offense. If you're attacking and you want to attack their leader and they're a 10k, you have to combo or have a have a boost already um, in order to in order to uh, 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 get over that bump or get over that difference, basically. So that that's the thing that that's that's the real issue when it comes to that and better yet and even even more is that for a less life you get to draw three um so that is even more cards in your hand and it becomes a little problematic uh later in the game like turn four or five maybe you're probably at 10 cards at your deck because you're defending so much and maybe i'm doing it wrong like i said blocker barriers um and stuff like that might be it you could go mono blue with this man and have Bergamo, but you don't have a Gito, so Bergamo is easily removed. So uh, just think about that. <laughs> so every single time you have to do it defense and offensive. So think about that when I'm talking through these. Um, so let's get to the black cards real quick. Uh, let's go to blue. So the blue red uh, is probably best for this man, uh, in my opinion, only because he is again a, a draw leader and he needs that defense. He needs. He needs a little bit of offense, as well, a lot of offense, in order to end the game quickly, and then defense on his end, so that way you're not drawing through your cards and cycling too much. Um, and looking at this, like, okay, so Whis is there because she, 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 he is one of the best against the game because you get to use him for free, uh, having one blue energy up, which most of these cards, if not all of them, except for Zeno, only cost one blue, um, so that's even better. 
and uh, basically you negate the attack and switch one to active mode. You can switch one, so something else like I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why would you do, want to do that with this deck, but if you if you want to switch out um, like Victoria's Fist Go, Strength Gohan, which is probably the one one of the only flex options outside of Jacko, which I think in this deck you kind of need um, to to take out and put in like a, a Vados Negate would probably be okay. Um, but at the same time, not really. Like a, a Renegade probably would be okay. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think what else would be good. But anyway, that's that's what I think. Uh, and then Sensu Bean. Okay, so that's the counter. You need the counter in your hand, especially uh, later in the game. You probably you probably don't need him early in the game. You're just gonna keep drawing and defending yourself. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then Sensu. Sensu Bean is there for extending extending plays and for defense. So automatically on defense, he is a 10k leader instead on his awake, unawakened side and Fit King K on his awakened side. And then you get to switch to to active mode, which I, I don't know. Like I said, if if you wanna if you wanna do that, you can do that. Uh, Mafuba, if you run blue, you run Mafuba. Uh, Mafuba, Mafuba, Mafuba. I don't know how Nam says says it, but he says it funny. Um, <laughs> Mafuba is one of the best cards as far as uh, for for me, and one of the best blue cards. It disrupts so many plays, and I talk about it in every single deck profile I have Mafuba in. Um, and uh, you didn't get the attack. You place it on the attacking battle card, and and in the opponent's next turn. So basically, full full turn, they don't have the the card that you just Mafuba. Uh, you have a full turn without your your um, your your turn being disrupt disrupted or interrupted by one of their cards, uh, etc. So good card, really good card. Ultimate Judgment Jacko. I feel like <laughs> for this deck again, it's kind of it's kind of needed. Oh, excuse me. Only because again, when you're comboing, you're not only um, defending yourself on most most of the time. You're gonna be defending yourself with this card and drawing one. And then uh, you get to return one of their combo cards if need be. So uh, it's really good in that respect, um, and just to draw and for blue energy. Like I was, I was trying to find the perfect blue energy um, to to put a three of in, and I think this is this is one of the ones. Um, it's really good on defense, and, and it saves saves you a lot of hassle when it comes to a lot of different final plays uh, on defense as well. So then on the playing god. Uh, very, very much needed, so uh, shout out to Joel. The concept of this deck is to draw a lot, attack a lot. Zeno, pre-awakening. Uh, Zeno, so reset the whole board, draw five, flip over, draw three, and then have eight cards, then nine cards after attacking, and then um, be on defense with the, with the whole book in your hand, basically. And uh, disrupting whatever they have going on. So that's the, that's the whole concept for that. Um, so having that, having chain attack uh, at four, and then intensifying power trunks at four, and then this guy at three, I think suits it better. I mean, if you want to put it at four, enjoy having dead cards. You don't cycle like you do with the uh, Hurricane. You don't cycle like we would you do with uh, trunks. This man, if you, I mean, yeah, you get the combo if it's in the combo area. But honestly, I, I would just use it as uh, blue energy if you already have one in your hand. Uh, Rushing Warrior Pan. So this is really good, I think, in in the respect of you put her down for one energy, and then now he is a 10k uh, leader uh, as a turn one play, and then you can either combo to get more cards in your hand, or you can have it for defense, so that way you can combo, have him at 10k, draw two cards because there's one here, and then one for her effect auto, um, and then uh, defend yourself that way. So really, really good. I think the synergy for these two cards are super, super good. Um, fight me if you think wrong. Um, intensifying power trunks. He is a uh, he is a good he's good later in the game honestly. Um, and even early in the game, I, I you really don't need to self awaken in this deck. Uh, people are gonna awaken you no matter what. They have no choice. Like if they want to win the if they want to win the game, they're gonna have to start attacking you. And you can choose not to combo and just take one from your life. So there you go. Uh, but he is there for a chain attack trunks target. So at the earliest turn three or three energy. Uh, or place one, place him uh, first turn, and then uh, somehow if you're like if you're playing blue yellow or something like that, I, I don't know why you would with this deck, but um, <laughs> you place him first turn, and then next turn you chain attack Zeno, awaken, and then have nine cards. So there you go, Vegeta power must use. So uh, there are four different colors in the world tournament for super combos. Uh, there's a reason for that, and my my best guess um, without Bandai telling us is because one. Is so we can have enough uh, variants, and so like the foils aren't going to be too expensive for people. That's one reason, I guess. Another reason is that um, 
basically it's it's uh, per color so at the very desperate desperate times you get to have one color assigned uh to your color or your leader color or whatever color that you're having or using in the in the deck and at the very rest of desperate times you can charge that color and use it so if you had this one and the only uh world tournament uh, super combo was black or like blue or something like that you would be forced to use that as charge and you can you can definitely use like the uh, Vados or the Henny Giru, but because this one has five or less it is it's that much useful like there's no reason why you wouldn't be using this one uh, Hidden power East Supreme Kai so just like the previous deck I just had or just profiled this one and as well as Mira go really well um, and uh, if you're playing a Hercule Mirror for whatever reason uh, it's not a bad card to use because uh, double strike with 10k on top of whatever they're using is very very annoying <laughs> um, and then um, basically again that's gonna be your finisher your game winner your winning con uh, bodyguard logic is gonna be pretty damn like useful um, maybe probably because like for her for double shot and for Gohan um, they're not gonna be on there too often you be drawing in other ways, but as soon as you can, I would play the bodyguard Legic, uh, or just charge him. And uh, again, he is a uh, when they have uh, cards in their battle area and you have none, you get to play them play this without paying your cost. Victoria's Strength Gohan, I want to play this man so much in the pan deck profile. I think I do have him in here, so you know, if you look at a card is red, you get to this card gets to attack battle cards in active mode, so more removal in that way. And then during your turn, when this uh, card KOs. A battle card, uh, inflict one damage to your opponent. <clears throat> I can see why they said during your turn, because uh, Revenge and King of Surprise, King Vegeta Surprise Attack. I mean, it would be pretty busted if that was the case. <laughs> but uh, this is super, super, super good removing free blockers. Uh, so removing free blockers with this man, and then uh, using Mera is really good. So they get to take one life or defend against it and waste cards. Or uh, he has a chain attack target as well. So there you go. Double shot Vegeta. So this is really good uh, because he automatically gets 15k or 20k on Awakened. Uh, and you get, you get to play a body on the board for free or for one energy that is. And then you get the draw for that as well. So overall a really good staple when it comes to this Hercule deck I feel like. In really any Hercule deck in my opinion. Unbreakable, an automatic draw too because you're, you're comboing with this one. You're drawing one and you're drawing one for Hercule. And again a 20k, 15k respectively or 15k 20k respectively and chain attack trunks i already explained it so that that is really it for the deck profile um i would love to show some gameplay for this one as well i said the same thing as last one if i don't have anything anything it's going to be a short video or relatively short compared to my other videos um if you want to see gameplay let me know and if you have a version of this let me know let me know what you change what, what you like what you don't like um I'm, I'm always interested in seeing what people come up with and uh, I can't wait to, to release out that Goku one as well and see what people come up with. But this is it. If I, like I said, if I have gameplay, I'll add it right after this. Um, and then um, that is it. Uh, I, will, I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned for the other deck profiles. Subscribe if you're new. Like, dislike, comment. Later.